In the last video, we went ahead and installed RDPilot, which is the flight stack, and that runs right here on your flight board and controls your drone and basically keeps it stable. In this video, we're gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to install um, the ground the ground control station software. And this is basically uh, something that runs on your computer and will connect to the drone via these telemetry radios and it will be able to get the different um, telemetry data like the orientation of your drone, the direction it's facing, the, posi the position of it, and then show it to you nice and visually right here on your laptop. And this will help you so that you know exactly what your drone's doing and where it's going and uh, you can intervene if something goes wrong, right? So, uh, like in the last video, I went ahead and made a um, uh, text follow along. So, the link is down below. It's on my GitHub. Uh, just go ahead and grab that, and uh, we'll get started with that. So, the first thing is we're going to go ahead and download the ground control um, software. So, first thing is open up a terminal so go here grab your terminal and um, we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste this uh, command into the terminal and I'm gonna go ahead and skip in the video just because my internet's slow again great now the ground station is downloaded the next thing we're gonna have to do is give the uh, ground, con ground control station permission to run and you're going to do that by doing uh, chmod plus x and then the q ground control applet so uh, control c and then control shift v right there run that so now we can run our uh, ground station by doing dot slash q ground control dot applet and we can go ahead and do that q ground and then tab complete run so now, uh, the ground control station's going to go ahead and boot up. Alright, so here's the ground control station, and um, basically right here on the main menu, you have uh, just a map of the world, and once we connect to our vehicle, uh, it'll show up somewhere here on the map. Um, the next thing is here, you have um, a way to make missions, plan uh, what you want the drone to do, and whatnot. Um, and then to go back, you can hit that, and then over here we have settings, uh, and then we'll have a bunch of different uh, tuning stuff once we connect to our vehicle, and I'll show that again once we connect to the vehicle. Alright, so now we need a vehicle for this ground station to connect to, and that's where our software in the loop simulation will come into play. So in another terminal, uh, we, and we can tile these terminals by doing control shift T. So now we've got two terminals, in the other terminal, we're going to go ahead and run these commands down here. CD, RD Pilot, RD Copter, and then run the software in the loop simulation. And now we have our software in the loop simulation running. So here, here we are. Um, look at that. Uh, we're connected to a vehicle. So it looks like uh, we're here on this uh, on this landing strip here in uh, I think it's Australia if we zoom out and eh, whatever we won't look at it cuz cause, cuz cause, uh, it's gonna take a little while for my computer to load all that um, so uh, the next thing we want to do is probably uh, make a mission uh, just so you guys can see like how this is all supposed to work together so we'll come over here to the mission planning uh, section and uh, then the first thing we'll do is do a um, waypoint and we'll head we'll go ahead and place it there and uh, this just basically places it right where the drone's gonna start and we'll do a takeoff um, altitude of 50 meters and this is relative to the ground um, there's a couple other things that um, you could basically specify the altitude to be uh, mean above sea level but we'll just go ahead and keep it that for now and then once we take off, maybe we'll want to go ahead and have it uh, fly to another waypoint. So we'll go ahead and place another one there. And that one will we'll also make that one 50 meters. And we'll just have it fly the default uh, 5 meters per second uh, to this uh, waypoint. All right. So 
now that we've made this really simple mission, basically take off, go forward, uh, we're going to go ahead and upload this to the drone. Boom. Done. Alright. Cool. So now we go back to our flight status and uh, go ahead and fly the mission. Alright. So looks like we're now armed and the drone's taking off. And so you can see right here, uh, this is the altitude of the drone. Uh, and it should go up to 50 meters. Uh, this is about zero ground speed because we're basically just ascending right now. And uh, the drone's pretty much level. Alright, so let's wait a second. Uh, once it gets to 50 meters, it'll probably start moving forward. Alright, so now the drone's pitched forward, and we can now see the drone moving forward. And then it should fly out here, and then just hold its position. So. As you can see, basically, Q ground control plus the software in the loop simulation, uh, you can make different waypoint uh, missions and you can test them all right here and make sure that they're going to work uh, before you go and fly them on the drone. But there's one obvious um, thing missing from this um, simulation architecture right now is it's still only, we can only see the position of the drone on the map and its orientation. Uh, it's really not that great. What we really need is like a three-dimensional view of the drone and then the ability to kind of uh, simulate three-dimensional objects and make sure that the drone isn't going to run into them. Um, and then if we really want to do like intelligent stuff with our drone, then we might want to have like moving, uh, moving obstacles, um, targets for it to identify, uh, different visual features. Um, and so in the next uh, video, I'm going to show you how we can connect our software in the loop simulation to a 3D uh, physics simulator. Um, and then we'll put it all together and we'll basically have a real 3D physics uh, drone on the computer and we can simulate all these different things and it'll be great. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I know there's a lot more things that you can do with the ground station, but I'm sure I'll go over those in the testing in real life series. So for now, uh, peace out.